Hello friends, thank you so much for your time and thanks for the click. My name is Dallin Fee and I am so excited that you are here on this platform and thank you if you are a subscriber, we appreciate that. If you are watching this video and you have not subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button for us and that is a motivation. So welcome to part 3 of integration by substitution. Now in this episode, we are looking at how to integrate logarithmic and then exponential substitution and it's going to be exciting. By the end of this presentation, you should be able to use substitution method to integrate any of these presentation. Now as usual, we have to know the tips. If you did not watch the second part, we are saying that for integration by substitution, you are always going to pick one function as your u, and that is very important. After getting the u, you are now going to differentiate the u with respect to x. And the reason is that by the time you are done with the differentiation, the x should be able to cancel out any other x in the other um, function. And then the most important aspect is that you find the u, then you differentiate the u and then the third aspect is that you make the x the subject that is the trick when it comes to integration by substitution so let's now move on to get our first question question one says find the integral of brackets natural log of x squared all over x dx and so this is where we are talking about the choice of u is very important. Now notice that if I pick x as my u, then I am going to differentiate this. And when I differentiate x, I will get 1. And that 1 cannot cancel this x. So it means picking this as your u will be a wrong choice. Now on the other hand, if I pick len x as my u, you know by standard the when I differentiate len x, I am going to get 1 over x. And naturally, that x can deal with this x. So let's now move on. So we are saying that let u is equal to len x. Now that we have gotten our u, the next thing to do is to differentiate u with respect to x. And so doing so, we are getting the differential for len x is going to be 1 over x. And then the third step, as we learned, is always to make, after you have differentiated the u, the next important thing is to make the x the subject. And so we isolate the dx by simply cross multiplying. And so this multiply this and this multiply that. And we are getting dx is equal to x du. And so having gotten this, now we know our u and then we know our dx. These are two important ingredients you need when you are dealing with integration by substitution. So now let's go and then place them into the original question. So original question was the integral of len x squared all over x. And we are saying that whatever you see len x, let's put u there. And so in place of this len x, we have u here. The square has not changed, so we still have the square here. And then this x is what we see here. And then we made the x the subject in the previous edition. And we got the x is equal to x du. So in place of this dx, we are representing that with du. Okay, and then we move on. So with this, we should be able to see that this x and this x can cancel out. And so when x cancel x, what is left is u squared. That is why when we come here, we are having the integral of u squared du. And so when you integrate this, obviously you are adding 1 to the exponent. So the integral of u squared is going to give us u cubed over um, 3 plus c. Plus c is a constant because this is an indefinite integral. But then we have not finished yet. There was no u in the original question. We brought the u. But then the u stand for something. What does the u stand for? 
the u actually represent len x so all we do is that after we are done with our integration let's place back len x whatever we see the u and so the final answer we see that in place of this u we are having len x and so the final answer is len s cube over 3 plus c and that is the solution for the first example let's now move on to the second question and the second question we have find the integral of x squared e x cubed dx and this is where it also gets exciting so the question is that which of these should i pick as my u remember the choice of u must when you differentiate the u it should cancel all x in the question so let's take this for example if i pick x squared as my u when i differentiate x squared i will get 2x but here the 2x cannot cancel the s cube i have here how about if i pick the s cube here as my u so when i differentiate the s cube i am going to get 2x squared and once i get the s squared that s squared should be able to cancel this s squared okay so now we say that let u is equal to s cube so now you differentiate u with respect to x so we have the u dx is equal to 3 s squared and we said in the steps that we give the techniques you must whenever you finish differentiating the u the next thing to do is to make dx the subject and so by making dx the subject we are getting dx is equal to du over 3x squared what does that mean it means that in place of the x cube we are going to put u there and then in place of the x we are going to put uh, du over 3 s cube uh, s square there and this is the most important thing that we need to do so let's go to the next presentation now you can see clearly from here that we are we have done the substitution that in place of the s cube we are now having u here and then in place of the dx we are now having du over x uh, over 3 s squared so that is the steps that we need to know okay now we move on to the next stage and let's see how exciting it becomes now number one you can see clearly that the s squared here can easily cancel this s squared so when s squared cancel s squared what is left e exponent u so we have it here e to the power u and then the s squared is gone so what's left here is 3 so we are going to have du over 3 that's why you see du over 3 here now this we can easily factorize now du over 3 is the same as 1 over 3 du so we are going to factorize the constant out so we are going to bring it outside the integral sign okay so now let's make progress so you can see clearly that now the one third is outside the integral sign we are now having one third the integral of e exponent u dx now you realize that the standard integration the integral of e exponent u is going to be e exponent u the integral of e exponent x is going to be e exponent x so this one third is what you see here and when you integrate e exponent u you are getting the same e exponent u but because we are dealing with an indefinite integral you need to introduce your constant so the constant here that is c we have it here and then we haven't done now why the in the original question there was nothing like u so we are now going to replace u by s cube because we said that wherever you see u you, you put s cube there so to finish your solution in place of this u we are going to put the s cube here that is why the final answer when we move down that is what we are getting so let's see how easy it is we, are, we now have 1 over 3 e to the power u plus c and we are saying that in place of the u 
we are putting the s cube there and so plus c and that makes it so easy so the final solution ladies and gentlemen is that given the integral of s squared e x to the power 3 dx our final answer is going to be 1 over 3 e s cube plus 3 and that is so easy and once again i want to repeat you must always notice that whenever you are given a function which one are you going to pick as your u and the one that you pick as your u when you find it derivative it should be able to cancel every x in the other function so let's move on to our third example and we'll get it clear so the next example determine the integral of 3 all over x into bracket len x squared dx so here the question is which one should be our u remember whatever u you pick when you differentiate it it should cancel other x in the question when i pick this x as my u when i find the derivative of this x i'll get one obviously one will not cancel this x so this u cannot this x cannot be my u how about if i pick len x as my u okay so if i pick len x as my u we know that the diff, when when i integrate sorry when we differentiate len x we are going to get one over x and that x can easily cancel this x so it means the right u for us to pick is going to be len x so let u is equal to len x and once you know your u you must differentiate the u with respect to x so we have du dx is equal to 1 over x and then we, you must also remember after you have differentiated the u you must make dx the subject so here let's make dx the subject by isolating it and that is what we get so making the the subject once again i cross multiply and then this multiply this and this multiply that so i get dx is equal to x du now that we have done now remember that there are two important things that you need to know the first one is the choice of u the second one is for you to differentiate u and then the third one is to make dx the subject now if you are able to get these techniques now we want to put this back into the original question okay so whatever we see len x we are going to put u there and whatever we see dx we are going to put um x du there so that we can simplify our solution so this is the original question on the left hand side then on the right hand side you see that this three is what we see here and then the x is what we see here it has not changed but then in place of the len x we have u there and then the square is also there so the square has not changed then we come to the dx in place of the dx we are now having x du okay so in place of this dx that is why we see the x du now you can see that the x and this x can easily cancel out so when this this x and this x cancel meaning we are going to get 3 over u squared okay now we want to factorize the 3 out so when the 3 comes out we will be left with 1 already this x and this x have cancelled so they are no longer in existence that is why when you come down we have 3 the integral of 1 over u squared du now once again we have to write this one appropriately so like the inverse of it and so we can deal with that so easily so we have 1 over u squared that is the inverse of u squared will give us um, u minus 2 and so that is going to be easy for us to do now what to do next is for us to um, differentiate so if us to integrate the u squared so let us now integrate the u squared let's now integrate the u squared how do we integrate the u squared let's move on and you see that it is going to be very exciting 
Okay, so the integral of u squared, ladies and gentlemen, is that you are adding plus 1 to the exponent. And so minus 2 plus 1 is going to give us minus 1. And then you divide by the same exponent here. So minus 1 here divided by minus 1. And now plus c. Plus c because this is indefinite integral. Okay, so now let's watch something and you see how easy it is. Obviously, you can see that this 1 times minus 3 will give us minus 3. And then u exponent minus 1. We can rewrite this appropriately as 1 over u. So when you come here, you have 1 over u here. But we haven't finished. In the original question, there was no u there. We actually introduced the u. So let's now go back to the original question and rewrite what the u stands for. Now you see that the u actually represents the natural log of x. That means wherever we see u in this final integration, we are going to replace that with ln x. And so we move on to the down, and you see how easy it is. So this minus 3 is what we see here. Okay, you see it here, minus 3 is here. And then this one, you see the one here, then in place of the u, we have ln x. So we have the ln x and then plus c. And then you know, normal mathematics, this minus 1 times, this minus 3 times 1 will give us this 3. And then we have ln x plus c. And it is so easy for us to do. Now see how easy it is for you to do integration using substitution. My name is Dalen Fee. If you have not subscribed, kindly do so. Thank you so much for your time and we'll meet in part 4 where we'll look at um, integration using the trigonometric function.